Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, do you want similar things inside and outside of your new relationship? A lot of people go into new situations with lots of different expectations. They want all their needs met because they've played around long enough now and they're ready for a committed partnership. So what ends up happening is sometimes we put out things that maybe are a little bit intense. Maybe we don't put enough stuff out there as to what we're looking for. You really want to meet somebody who's on a similar page than you are for what you want in your future. If you're in a compatible place quite early on in a new relationship, you won't have troubles talking about some of those tougher things that need to be addressed. Because you understand at this stage in your life what's important to you, what makes somebody compatible with you. And if you share that with them without it being a high maintenance checklist, you're gonna get them feeling a little bit relieved because they can talk about the same things. We all want to know, especially if you're after 35-ish and you're looking for a permanent situation, you want to get married, you want to have kids, you need to ask some of those questions. Because if you're spending two more years with somebody that doesn't know what they want or they've said to you, well, I'm not sure yet, and you're putting time and energy into that person, you're taking away from what you truly want in your own life. And it's very important to spend time with the right people. Give energy to the people who are on a similar path that you are, you are on and you want to be on in your future. Once you reach the three month mark, this can be a make or break time for a lot of people. Are you in a healthy place? Do you have both have boundaries that are being adhered to? Do you have uh, relationship similarities? Do you have future similarities? If you know a lot of this by the three month mark and you're still doing really well together, you have a huge chance of being in a committed partnership with them. A lot of people will hang around after the three month mark, not understanding what that person they're dating wants. They haven't brought up the, the fact, do you want a family? Do you want to get married? Where do you want to live? What are your career goals? Where is life going to take you? And what is important to you in your life? Where do you want to be? These are all the questions that you have to have in a reciprocated conversation because they have a right to know and you have a right to know because you're investing time with somebody. You're giving them a big part of yourself. You're giving them your energy and you're seeing them separately from other people out there. You're saying, okay, I'm thinking about having a long-term commitment with you. How are we, are we compatible? Can we move forward? Having a few different opinions in a relationship is totally normal, but you should be on a very similar mindset when it comes to what you want in your future. It's one thing to have a great chemistry in the bedroom, but if your morals, values, future goals are not on a similar path, it's going to be very, very difficult to maintain longevity in a partnership. Because if you think too differently, as you evolve and you get older, you'll just be pulling more and more apart from each other. And this is the, the, the situation that happens with a lot of couples because they haven't done the homework. They haven't sat down and really talked and communicated to each other about what's important. These are things that need to be addressed really quickly. Because otherwise, you, people just get so upset. They end up in these relationships that last for three months or six months or maybe even a month. And they keep going back to the drawing board. If you learn how to communicate with somebody very early on, you won't keep having these, these sort of repetitive situations happening. A drama or stress or hurtful breakups because you'll know what you're looking for. And that's what a stepping stone sort of dating scenario should be. You should learn from each experience and not repeat them. That's the trick of moving on and finding your person is understanding what it is you're looking for. You might have a lot of commonality in how you want to be at home, how you raise your children, how you live within your home, but you might have completely different values and insight of what you're looking for outside your relationship when it comes to maybe your career or maybe what you want to do living somewhere different. All these situations need to be talked about. 
because this isn't just about family and having kids and and that sort of thing it's also about what your partner sees for their future and if you're not in the same place with that it doesn't matter how great your home life is you're going to feel like you're living separate lives if you're not on board with having a similar outlook to outside things it's totally okay to have different interests outside your home a few as long as you include your partner in the process let them know what's going on, invite them to things, include them in what's happening. You have to have both people respecting the other's ideas and outside interests. But it shouldn't be where it's lopsided and one person is always expected to understand the other person's thing. And that's where these conversations come into place and make it better when you sit down and have the conversation. Whenever in doubt, always listen to your instincts. They're pretty good. They're pretty open and honest with what's going on within you and what you're perceiving. Sometimes we choose to ignore our instincts and that's what gets us into trouble. Pay attention to what's happening around you. Are you, are you close with their family and friends? Do you get along and feel accepted by them? Do they ex include you in pretty much everything going on in their life? Are they happy in their career? Or are they looking for a change? These are all things that can sort of upset your, your connection in the future because if there's going to be a lot of huge changes coming forth, that definitely can alter the dynamics between you. If you're great communicators together, you're probably going to be okay because you're open, you're being open. You're, you're talking about the things that matter. You're making things a priority about what you want in your future. You're not sitting back and just letting things unfold. You're actually asking the tough questions about what you're looking for. And that's okay, as long as it's not bombarding them every two minutes. If you're on a similar page with somebody, there aren't a ton of questions because you talk about them. And that's something I stress in so many of my videos. That is a true tell sign that you're in a good place with somebody. You want similar things and there's not a lot of conflict because you're on board. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Please leave your comments and if you have any show topics or questions, leave those underneath the video as well for me, please. Thank you and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much everyone. Bye-bye.